That's not super common, is that when you're building one, you, you have to put railings up due to code for one reason or another. If you're, if you got an existing deck without railing, that means, I mean, it's either built not to code or all of a sudden you want them there for kids or something, but it's still low enough. I mean, if it's more than 36 inches on a leading edge, you gotta have a railing on it, right? So if it's lower than that, you don't need a railing. And then if you came back and put a railing, what you need to make sure of is that those posts can, can in fact be um, secured into something uh, sturdy underneath the deck. On the corners, on the sides, you gotta typically put multiple joists in there so you have something to anchor into so that they're very supported and stiff. So you, you, you gotta have structural integrity underneath each one, uh, unless it's just uh, ornamental, which we won't do. We'll you know, put up the railings because they serve a function. Uh, replacing railing would be fairly simple. I mean, because you already got the mounting locations. If you have a railing that's uh, old and you want to replace it, um, typically the structure is already there for it. It would again be, you know, if, if it's damaged or something like that, it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward to uh, repair and replace, provided the structure's not rotted or whatever you got going on where the support is for the for the railing. Our railing we use is, uh, is an extruded aluminum, um, powder coated uh, aluminum railing is, uh, is typically what we use. We don't do a lot of wood railings. They're literally the very infinite lifespan unless somebody runs into them, they're damaged with a tree, things like that, they don't rust. It's all like a, a user damage of some sort why we would replace a railing typically. Or you don't like the style and wanna change it out, which, which we don't occur, uh, come across very often.